So hello everyone, welcome. Welcome to the 2018 TMCC Award Ceremony. So if you haven't found a seat, please find your seat. So thank you so much for being here today. Uh, this is really a, a, a day to honor and celebrate and recognize some of the incredible work that faculty, staff, administrators do for TMCC. It's a time to recognize those who are joining the ranks of tenure, really at that sort of that best model of TMCC in the faculty ranks. It's a time to recognize hard daily operational work of so many staff who are crucial to the community college mission. And it's time to recognize those of us who are leaving, sadly, either through re retirement or other types of, of leaving. And it's also time to recognize Emeriti, right? I heard a new word today, which is, which is a, a sort of a nice way to stay connected. So it's a really wonderful day. I wish we could do this day more often to take an opportunity and recognize individuals for the important work that they do. Without further ado, I'd like to get right into the program and I'd like to welcome Sean French up to the stage, TMCC Foundation board member, and Cynthia Olivo, Vice President of the Classified Staff Council, to present the Classified Employee of the Month and Employee of the Year finalists and announce the winner. Um, good afternoon, everybody. Thank you for attending. Uh, it's an honor to acknowledge the following employees for their exemplary individual achievements, contributions, performance in their jobs, positive attitudes, and commitment to quality and caring for TMCC, TMCC students, faculty, and staff. I'm going to recognize our monthly award winners, and as part of the committee, whenever I would read these nominations, it was such an inspiration, and it just makes you aspire to be a better employee. So when I call your name, these uh, employees have been recognized monthly, uh, just come up on stage. So our first monthly award winner, and these are actually done in alphabetical order, not by month, Don Ingram. Is Don here? Don was recognized for her exemplary employee and wonderful executive administrative assistant in the science division, and it would not run smoothly without her. Our next one, Sarah Jacobson. Sarah is an excellent collaborator, team player, and provides valuable insight and expertise to our students that need our assistance at the Welcome Center and Testing Centers. Next, Becky Jostin. <laughs> Becky goes above and beyond daily to serve the faculty, staff, and students at TMCC. In foundation, Becky serves as the front line for daily foundation duties. Our next employee is Valerie Kelly. <laughs> Valerie is competent and very good at her job. She often goes above and beyond, not only for the president, for, but for other offices as well. She's a valuable member of our office and essential to daily operations. Our next employee is Denise Pickering. Now, Denise's nominator said, let's face it, all of us have rolled into Denise's office for years. She is a walking encyclopedia regarding the changes in our benefits and is simply an amazing colleague. Our next employee, employee tongue-tied here, Tashela Parada, also known as Shay. Shay offers teachers, students, and visitors service in a whole new category. She, is complete, she completely embodies the spirit of support in every situation. Our next employee that was nominated is Teresa Setzer. Teresa consistently goes above and beyond. She does everything she can to ensure that students are not sent throughout the campus. And I have to tell you, at Teresa's um, ceremony, it had to be the most emotional ceremony ever. I think we were all in tears. It was well-deserved. Our other employee um, of the month is Hannah Thomas. Hannah is one of the most patient people I've ever worked with. Sometimes the process of applying for financial aid is overwhelming and confusing. confusing. Hannah takes the time to explain the process to students and walks them through 
the necessary steps so that they can help pay for all their classes. This can make the difference between a student coming to TMCC or not attending. And finally, our last employee of the month was Ellie Wilkins. <laughs> Ellie continues to fulfill her primary function as the AA for social sciences. She has been willing to help out significantly, significantly in our move to our new division. And now, these are our employees of the month and we're gonna honor them just one moment. And now for the really big award, we have our Employee of the Year. Thank you very much. Uh, what a great day at the college. If you need a seat, come on up there. All the, Great seats, right up here up front, front row. No tickets necessary. Come on up. My name is Sean French. I'm with the foundation. On behalf of the foundation board, uh, I am pleased to announce the three finalists and the winner of the Classified Employee of the Year Award. Classified employees are the backbone of the college. We are grateful for your dedication, your commitment, and unwavering support for TMCC. First, I would like to recognize Sherry Matheson, and she's Specialist 2, who is the coordinator of the Flames Financial Literacy Program at the college. Sherry is a well-respected member of the TMCC classified staff community who goes above and beyond the duties of her office. When the Flames startup grant from USA Funds was ending, the financial aid office learned that the college needed to cut the planned financial literacy coordinator position that would have kept the program running and going. Sherry immediately volunteered to take over supervision and coordination of the FLAMES program, as well as uh, guiding the college's default prevention activities. She did this for three months until the college could reclassify her position to reflect the new duties. Uh, managing the FLAMES program is a huge job and Sherry makes it look seamless and sometimes easy. Her attention to detail is amazing. Uh, the plan for this academic year was to increase Facebook activity by 5%, and under Sherry's guidance, Facebook activity increased nearly 70%, 69%. The goal was to increase workshop evaluations by 5%, and they increased by 61% under Sherry's direction. Uh, Sherry supervises up to 10 student employees each year. She doesn't just supervise them to ensure that the, the college offers flames, workshops, and events. She goes above and beyond to provide them with team building retreats twice a year, spends hours preparing and training her team. A phenomenal accomplishment has occurred under Sherry's role that involves overseeing default prevention. In fall of 2015, TMCC's default rate was 25.3%, the highest it had ever been. And in the fall of 2018, which was just completed, the college's default rate dropped to 14.5%, so a 10% drop, nearly a cut in half. Uh, in that short time. This can be attributed to Sherry's tireless work, making sure students who are delinquent in their loan payments are contacted via personal phone, co with calls, emails, letters, as, whether, as well as the other good work of the FLAMES program in educating students about loan borrowing and repayment. A quote from one of Sherry's nominators says, she has a positive, outgoing style, she has a wonderful, can-do attitude that many people at TMCC exhibit, She's a professional, approachable, and generous. Sherry, congratulations. Congratulations, Sherry. Our next nom nominee is Donna Maxfield, Administrative Assistant 4 in the Disability Resource Center. Yeah, give it up. Here comes Donna. Donna is described by our colleagues in such positive ways as Donna is simply amazing and Donna is our rock. She's been instrumental She's been an inst instrumental part of the Disability Resource Center for many years. She's, she's a passionate champion for the belief that all stu students deserve an equal opportunity to improve their lives and livelihoods through education. 
She is skilled in developing and implementing workable solutions and systems and helping others learn to take on new roles and responsibility. Because of this, she's gradually been able to relinquish some of that responsibility to others without disrupting services provided by the students, or to the students. She's a creative problem solver who goes above and beyond every day in her service to students, her coworkers, and the college. Over the past five years, Donna's role has grown substantially as her skills have been needed in other areas as well. We're, I'm, I'm hearing a theme here. Uh, counseling and reentry, student life and development, and the Career Center are now benefiting from Donna's unique skills and abilities. She's indis indispensable to, the, to these departments and their ability to serve students, particularly students who are facing challenges or barriers to achieving their educational goals. She's an empathetic listener with the ability to help students and sometimes staff move beyond the telling of their story into meaningful action to alter the course of this story on a positive way. In the midst of all of this, Donna has also completed her bachelor's degree. Yeah. It's that time of year. It's the second time I've heard that. She, uh, she always endeavors to be helpful and to bring, our humor, and bring humor to the workplace. As one of her co-workers describes Donna, simply put, Donna is TMCC. She is the best of TMCC. Congratulations, Donna. And now, I am pleased and privileged to present to you TMCC's Classified Employee of the Year. Drum roll. <laughs> that was good. You, wow. It's a great time of year. Um, there were three amazing finalists. We just met two of them, and I know uh, that the committee had a very difficult, challenging time reading through the nominations and deciding who is going to be the winner. I am proud to announce this year's winner uh, for Classified Employee of the Year is Barbara Evans. <laughs> Consummate professional and irreplaceable is how Barb Evans' colleagues described her. While Barb Evans' job title is Executive Assistant to the Dean, this year she's taken on so much more. When both AA3 positions in the division were left vacant just before the start of the 2017-18 academic year, Barb assumed handling of all the instructor and student needs that come with the start of a new year for an entire division. Applied Technologies has experienced growth in the number of programs and enrollment over the last few years. It's booming, and Barb is single-handedly completing the work uh, once handled by three administrative assistants at the Edison site. Throughout the semester, Barb completed all of the many tasks, normally completed uh, with two other admins, managed all of the apprenticeship enrollments and contracts, and addressed all student and staff needs in the Applied Technology Center, all while searching, hiring, and training new administrative assistant threes for the division. As happens sometimes, one of the positions did not last uh, through the entire year. But without missing a beat, Barb stepped back in, efficiently serving as the only administrative support in the spring semester at the Edison campus while clearing up several months of backlogged work. Even under normal staffing circumstances, Barb Evans is the go-to person at the Applied Technology Center. Her institutional knowledge about what is being done, what should be done, and how to address multiple scenarios keeps the division on track. She was invaluable in the transition of a fairly new dean and director, second year for both of them, uh, keeping both on track and answering many, many questions about processes and procedures. Uh, Barb's concern for students and staff shows her dedication and commitment to getting everything done. She's efficient, accurate, and dependable, and has been amazingly good-humored while managing all the additional duties this year. She is truly dedicated and an asset to the college. Barb, congratulations. Yay. I think we have a check for you. I think you get an extra one. All 
right, before you leave, I am pleased to present you, let me make sure I get the right envelope here, uh, with a check in the amount of $1,000 provided by the TMCC Foundation. Congratulations. Right. Now I have the pleasure. Oh, he's so what a guy. That's right. We'll, we'll give Kyle a, a clap. Right? He's a he's a good guy. Thank you. Uh, now I have the pleasure of announcing the winner of the drawing for the faculty and staff giving campaign that was part of the March Nevada Big Give campaign. Uh, first, before I do that, we are grateful for the TMCC faculty and staff who generously give uh, to the college for programs, scholarships, emergency funds, uh, faculty and staff grants. In fact, in 2017, TMCC faculty and staff donated over $35,000. Give yourself, that's fantastic. <laughs> Leadership. Thank you. Uh, as part of the March Nevada Big Give campaign, all new and existing faculty and staff donors were entered into a drawing to win a two-night stay in a one-bedroom suite at the Ridge in Tahoe. It's South Lake Tahoe. It's a beautiful place if you haven't been before. And um, I don't know if the winner's here, but we're just going to go ahead and do this, right? All right. I am pleased to announce that after a totally random drawing, the winner is Eric Lopez. Eric, if you're here, come on up. There he is. You get the big envelope, Eric. Congratulations. Oh, there you go. Very good. Congratulations, Eric. All right. I think that's it for us, right? I'm going to announce Yvonne. Yeah? You just introduced Brian next. Got it. All right. My time is running out. Uh, I'd like to now welcome Yvonne Wedding, Treasurer, and Rachel Holderade, uh, Director of Leadership, Alpha Phi Gamma Chapter of Phi Theta Kappa, to the stage to present Teacher of the Year Award. I'm going to have to bring this down a little bit. <laughs> Hello, I'm Yvonne Wedding. Um, I would like to thank you guys for being here today. Every year, Phi Theta Kappa presents an award for the Teacher of the Year. These instructors are nominated by their students. First, we would like to welcome Dr. Megan Gray to the stage. Dr. Gray's students say this about her. Dr. Gray is a caring and compassionate, I'm sorry, Dr. Gray is caring and compassionate, yet she is a tough grader with high expectations. <laughs> Gray's knowledge and enthusiasm are incorporated into a variety of teaching techniques to reach students of all learning styles. Her willingness to work with students, especially on difficult concepts, provides so much encouragement that all thoughts of giving up disappear. Get your stuff for you. Yeah. First, we'd like to give you this. Oh. <laughs> 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 Hello, I'm Rachel Holderine, and next we would like to welcome Dr. Andre Walton to stage. <laughs> Dr. Walton's students say, 
Dr. Walton brings in real life examples to analyze how our own experiences tie into the concepts we are working on in class. To make it more accessible and easier to understand, he is a teacher, a mentor, an inspiration, and an incredibly supportive and patient person who I believe impacts nearly everyone he meets in a positive way. Congratulations. And I would like to ask uh, Barbara Evans to come back to the stage because you didn't get everything. But wait, there's more. At this time, I will invite the party to the stage to present the newly tenured faculty, Dr. Karen Hilgersom, Dr. Marie Mergalapur, Dr. Jill Channing, Dr. Cal Doppi, Dr. Julie Ellsworth, Amy Williams. So first of all, I want to say thank you to Sean again. You're really good at this. We'll be tapping you more. It's awesome. The other thing that I want to say is we have, I think the youngest audience member with us today is Alex, Nicole's new boy. Isn't he sweet? He's so cute. We'll have to hold him up later. He's just so darling. So th this is really a great day for TMCC. We welcome the ranks of tenure, those faculty who have served our students and our community and our college as educators and experts in their disciplines. Tenure is a very rigorous process. So today, you'll hear a little bit about each uh, new tenured uh, faculty member. Each faculty member will receive a medal and the medal will be placed upon them by their dean. And the other thing that each faculty member will receive is a clock. And I wanted to just spend 30 seconds telling you what the clock represents. The honor of tenure comes with great responsibility. The responsibility to stay current in your discipline, the responsibility to remain firmly, firmly dedicated to your students and wholly invested in their success. The honor of tenure also means that you're representing TMCC fully by using your expertise in service, in service to the college, in service to the external community. So those who have tenure here, the full-time faculty who have earned that, really model the, the best. And so this is really an important day for the individuals that we will recognize in a moment. So the clock represents the fact that for each faculty member receiving tenure today, it's a token of appreciation a token that symbolizes the time and the dedication that you have given in order to achieve tenure, but that you will continue to give our students in the years ahead. The clock represents the time that this takes, the patience that this takes, the fact that the responsibility of student success at TMCC is a shared responsibility. It takes all of us to make it happen. So with that, I'd like to turn it over to Vice President of Academic Affairs, Dr. Marie Mergalopour, who will call each newly tenured faculty to the stage. Thank you, this is such a privilege to be able to do this. When you hear just a little bit about what these amazing professors have put in to you know, their heart and soul over the last few years, um, you'll be very impressed. Although it's not listed this way in your program, I will do it by division, so each dean could just step forward once. So we'll do business and social science division, Amy Williams, the dean. Okay, 
Professor Haley Ortho Clark. Thank you. <laughs> Professor Haley Ortho Clark, professionalism and performance in and out of the classroom with students, colleagues, staff, and administration is outstanding. She has fully embraced a high level commitment to excellence in teaching, campus leadership, and other professional activities. Through her time at TMCC, she has been nominated as the full-time faculty member of the year, received the Student Advisor of the Year Award, was a finalist for the Model Dairy Service Award, earned the nationally recognized NISOD Service Award, and has been consistently evaluated by students, colleagues, and administration as being excellent in both in the classroom and online. Haley's commitment to service at TMCC has been amazing. Examples of her service include chairing the Curriculum Review Committee, serving on the Faculty Senate Executive Committee, establishing the Psychology Club, and serving as faculty mentor for the club. She is also actively involved in assessment efforts for the psychology discipline, maintains relevant memberships for her field, presents at TMCC and conferences, and supports the college in many other activities. TMCC is blessed to have someone so dedicated to both service to students and service to the college, and is very proud to award tenure to Professor, ha Professor Haley Arthur Clark. I'm tired just reading that. Wow. Um, in Liberal Arts Division, so if we could have Jill step forward. Um, Professor Candice Garlock. <laughs> is Candice here or is she teach? Oh, here she is. You had a baby. I'm, I'm so jealous, all these babies getting cuddled and I'm not there doing it. <laughs> you should have, I would have held her. Um, okay. Professor Candace Garlock is a dedicated teacher and community member. She has used several contextual teaching and learning projects to make learning real for students. For example, students engaged in projects to help the Sparks Museum raise funds and for another project, students created art panels for downtown Reno. She has continued her work as an artist and exhibitor to grow as an educator and to provide an example for students of what is expected of a professional artist. Ms. Garlock has engaged in a significant amount of professional development to improve her instruction. She has attended conferences and has taken classes herself at the Sparks Museum, St. Mary's Arts Center, and TMCC. Ms. Garlock has earned Quality Matter certifications for her teaching and for her on online Art 100. She has attended 20 workshop trainings, related to her teaching and has taught nine workshops during her probationary period. Ms. Garlock has been a driving force in the area of assessment for visual and performing arts department, leading these efforts, closing the loop, and revising curriculum and learning outcomes appropriately. Ms. Garlock has used her role as gallery curator to teach students installation practices and give them substantial amounts of practice in curation skills. And I know personally you've also done a lot of student advising and really taken that to a new level. So thank you so much. We're very proud of you. Okay. Um, also in the Liberal Arts Division, Professor Karina Wittinger. <laughs> Dr. Wittinger is committed to continuous quality improvement. She participates in teaching squares and took the Quality matter, Matters Applying the Rubric training, all specific to efforts to improve her online instruction. Further, Dr. Wittinger has developed a teaching style over the probationary period that includes a variety of teaching methods and strategies, such as handouts that facilitate note-taking, eye-clicker quizzes, PowerPoint presentations geared to face-to-face -face and online courses, and structured group work with specific assignments and clear instructions. Further, Dr. Wittinger includes contextual learning assignments such as field trips to local museums. After these trips, students write papers based on the art they analyzed. She has also partnered with the library to ensure that there are sufficient sources for students to complete research assignments for her courses. 
Also, she instituted a note-taking requirement in grade, which has resulted in more students taking notes in her classes. In addition, she continues to publish and attend conferences during her probationary period, attended over 30 TMCC professional development sessions to facilitate her development as an instructor. instructor. Congratulations. Okay, Sciences Division, Professor John Bailey. Professor Bailey is originally from Atlanta, Georgia, or should I say Atlanta, Georgia, <laughs> and he entered the field of radiology in 1993 and has been an educator for 20 years. He started his career as a, radiographic, a radiography student and part-time CT assistant at DeKalb Medical Center. He earned his ARRT credentials and became a registered technologist in radiography in 1995. The following year, he started an education as a part-time clinical instructor, instructor at DeKalb while working as a full-time radiographer in Decatur, Georgia. By 2001, he had been promoted to full-time instructor and clinical coordinator for the radiography program at West Georgia Technical College and became program director in 2008. In 2014, John decided to return to full-time teaching as a didactic lab and clinical instructor and joined as the faculty of TMCC radiography program. He and his wife Liz moved to Atlanta, from Atlanta to Reno in 2014. He is a small dog enthusiast. He has two Pomeranians. <laughs> and his, um, his two favorite teams are Notre Dame and New England Patriots. And John enjoys traveling and is working on visiting every continent except Antarctica. <laughs> Professor Matthew Lethen. Matt grew up in Wisconsin in a science-loving family. I love this. One of his earliest memories is from a camping trip, listening to his parents read from the book Black Holes and Time Warps. He studied at the University of Wisconsin-Madison in 2001 to 2005, graduating with distinction and earning a double major with a Bachelor of Science in Biochemistry and a Bachelor of Science with honors in Chemistry. He then pursued a PhD in Organic Chemistry at the University of Michigan Ann Arbor with the advisor John Wolfe. Dr. Lethen graduated in May 2011 with I'm not even going to try to read the title of your thesis. Please no, excuse no, no. me. I'm a social scientist, and all these words just go right over my head. You know? um, Matt then joined Grand Valley State University in Grand Rapids, Michigan, for three years as a visiting professor. In 2014, he joined TMCC in the Physical Sciences Department. In his time at TMCC, Matt has helped bring a National Chemistry Education Conference, the 2YC3 Conference, to TMCC, and he has volunteered with Nevada Science Olympiad to promote STEM education in Nevada's middle schools. Matt is delighted to be surrounded by colleagues who value and focus on effectively educating our students, and he looks forward to many more years at TMCC, sharing his excitement for science and nerdy chemistry shirts. <laughs> Professor Mike Schultz. Mike came to TMCC in January 2014 from Southern California Community College, where he was the lead part-time faculty with the Paramedic Academy and a community education coordinator. Mike works hard to create and enhance programs within the EMS Academy and to also increase enrollment and retention. He is committed to continual program improvement and implementing new learning scenarios designed to prepare students for the rigor of the field. He is a Delegate of the Northern Nevada Chapter for the International Trauma Life Support Organization and a member of the National Association of EMS Educators and the American Heart Association Instructor Network. Beyond the classroom, Mike is committed to service work. 
He and his students have coordinated a variety of community outreach events, including blood drives and events with the Boys and Girls Clubs of Northern Nevada. Mike and his wife, Jessica, have been married for 16 years and have four beautiful children, ages 7 to 14. Mike looks forward to a long career at TMCC, and this is a quote from Mike, our community needs our college. We all should be proud of the work we do here. I agree. And now for the Technical Sciences Division. Professor Craig Meebus. As the instructor of architecture, landscape architecture, and residential design, Craig believes that sustainable learning begins with a curriculum that will ensure continuous adaptation to the changes in society and independent critical thinking through the concept of buildings that teach. Providing <laughs> are, are we running out of room? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Pro Providing evidence of achievement is vital for promotion of our highest valued currency, the students attending TMCC. Craig has elevated student rigor by challenging students with architectural, architectural, sorry, my mouth is getting a little dry here, typologies that have demonstrated sophistication over time. Evidence of quality can be found in the community service learning projects with the VNT Railroad, the Rick Licata Memorial Trellis, the first ever community college initiative designed and constructed by TMCC's architectural students, the SGA Outstanding Award of Excellence for the Architectural Winter Gala event, and the full endorsement by the State Board of Architecture and Landscape Architecture for the programs of residential design and landscape architecture. Finally, Craig is the current chair of TMCC's Sustainability Committee and has helped the college meet the beginning goals towards our campus-wide resiliency commitment. <laughs> Professor Sam Byington. <laughs> Sam brings significant industry experience to the classroom each and every day. Having worked at Scott Motor Company for 21 years as a Cadillac, Buick, and Land Rover master mechanic, he worked at the Department of Motor Vehicles for three and a half years as admissions inspector and now conducts trainings at TMCC in this topic. Sam has been at TMCC for eight years, first as a full-time temporary hire, then as a tenure-track faculty. He also serves as a part-time instructor, he also served as a part-time instructor at TMCC for seven years. He earned a certification from the Arizona Automotive Institute, is Master ASE certified, and holds several Master Manufacturer certifications for service on Cadillac, Rover certified, and Buick. Sam enjoys teaching and being able to provide one of many roles as an instructor to stimulate, inspire, or just be a true catalyst for students to accomplish and understand a topic that they are passionate about learning. He has worked with Napa Auto Parts Business Development Group for scholarships and vehicle donations for the TMCC automotive programs and the Washoe County School District CTE Advisory Committee to improve their programs and has served as a Skills USA coordinator for the state automotive competition. I have to say, you know, congratulations. I am honored and in awe to be standing in these people's presence. They are absolutely amazing and they've brought so much value to the institution and our students up to this point, and I can't wait to see what the future has to hold with them as our tenu new newly tenured faculty. So congratulations. <laughs> okay. We really do have so many amazing faculty and staff at TMCC. It's, it's pretty 
pretty great to be here. I'd like to invite Johanna Bell, Specialist, Workforce Development and Community Education to the stage to present the Workforce Development and Community Instructor of the Year Award. Good afternoon. I'd like to introduce one of our fabulous community education instructors, Judy Wilson, and she might big green tractor on up here because she is our line dancing instructor. So she has been one of our most popular instructors with, um, with us since about 2011. Some of her students call her just awesome, an excellent instructor who makes it easy to learn a complicated string of steps. Also, that she's great, fun, and super patient. Please help me thank Judy Wilson for being such a wonderful line dancing instructor. <laughs> now I'd like to invite Rain Wilson, or Rain Donahue, I'm sorry coordinator of adult basic education to the stage to present the adult basic education ELL instructors of the year. Hello everyone. Um, we have so much, much magic happening down in adult basic education um, and in part so much of that can be attributed to our incredible instructors. I have two that I'd like to honor today. The first one, Kara Taromina. Um, she came to us from the school district with a wealth of experience, but I feel like she's really adapted well to adult education and has found her niche with us. Um, words like passion, enthusiasm, compassion, and energy come to mind when I think of Kara. Um, her classroom is just alive and amazing. Uh, she has rich in language, workforce development skills, she sometimes sings, um, and it's a great place to be. When we had our state monitoring back in December, I invited our state director into her classroom, and she was so impressed with Kara's teaching, but what really struck with, stuck with her was that um, every seat in the room was taken, and this was a couple of weeks before Christmas. So yes, every seat in the room is always taken in Kara's class, and she keeps her students as well. Her attention is amazing. But what I love most about Kara is we had an incident, a health incident, about a year and a half ago. And it involved the Department of Health, and we had to have information translated into six or seven different languages. And what could have been a very intrinsically laden, stressful experience, this woman with her calm and professional demeanor transformed that whole experience into a community building experience. And all that happened was bonding, bonding, and more bonding. So please, help me congratulate Kara. You're an amazing woman and your students adore you. What do we do now? Oh, stay with her. All right, um, this next instructor, Nick Purell, when I told him he was receiving this award, he said, are you sure you have the right guy? <laughs> yes, Nick, you're the right guy. Um, he, uh, yeah, thank you. Um, Nick began his career in business at the age of eight, uh, selling mangoes in the markets in London. And he has been immersed in business and the business world ever since. But he came to us with no teaching experience at all. None. So we had an interview and we took a leap of faith and the ROI, which means the return on investment, really paid off because the guy can teach. Um, there's a lot of laughter always coming out of his classroom. His curriculum is incredible. He te teaches our introduction to business careers curriculum and there's nothing introductory about it at all. Um, it's an outstanding, rigorous curriculum. Um, students are creating websites, they're developing business plans. It's incredible, honestly. Um, but that's not why you're getting this award. Um, 
what I love most about Nick is that he's willing to go above and beyond the classroom. He will have a cup of coffee with anybody who's willing to talk to him about business, regardless if he's a student of his. And he helped a husband and wife get a business out of their garage running, which is now flourishing. And I have no idea how many Saturdays that took. I don't want to know, but that's the extra mile he's willing to go. So for your authenticity, your genuineness, and for embodying the spirit of community and service, that is why you are getting this award. You spoil me. You spoil me. Could we please have Karina Sism come to the stage? She is going to be presenting the SGA Advisor of the Year Award. Hello, everyone. It's with great pleasure that the SGA nominates Teresa Dessert for the Outstanding Advisor of the Year Award. Unfortunately, though, Teresa is at a club event at this time. But we wanted to honor her at the ceremony for all of her hard work and dedication as an advisor to the Maxine S. Jacobs Student Nurses Association. <laughs> at this time, I'd now like to invite Michelle Montoya. She's a Faculty Senate Recognition and Activities Committee Chair, and she's going to be presenting the Professional Employees of the Month Awards. Thank you. Hello, I would like to invite to the stage the winners of the Professional Employee of the Month um, as the Faculty Senate Recognition Activities Committee. Um, many of these have already been awarded, but not all of them have yet, and it was supposed to be a surprise, um, but that, surprise! Um, so first, I would like to invite uh, to the stage um, Cal Anderson, if he's here. Um, and I'll read some of the uh, just very brief synopses. Uh, Cal worked tirelessly to get you visit and orchestrated the implementation of this virtual tour that brought together several departments on campus. Um, and then now I'd like to bring Rain Donahue back up to the stage. Uh, Rain was recognized as our professional employee of the month with a statement that uh, she goes above and beyond in her service to our adult basic education students in many ways. The primary reasoning is her personal, caring, compassionate, and beyond the call of duty service that she gives to her students. And are we hitting Would you like to go off this? Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. And then now I'd like to welcome Bill Garand if he's here. If, oh, and he is here. Hello, surprise. Uh, Bill is a friendly, smart, logical, ethical, and dedicated employee at TMCC, and he has worked hard over the course of many years to make sure that TMCC has a solid, secure, and reliable data foundation and structure that the college can depend on. Uh, it is a great pleasure to welcome back to TMCC um, and up to the stage, Teresa Golden. One statement, this is one. Uh, the stamina, okay, so Teresa had under, had helped oversee many projects that this campus has, has seen over the last two years. Um, the primary reasoning for her receiving the uh, Professional Employee of the Month Award, one sentence. See if I can do it in one breath. Uh, the stamina to address all these building projects, to line up the appropriate vendors, to facilitate the multitude of meetings required to take the next step, the budget and staff management, the ability to effectively communicate verbally and in writing, no I can't, the follow through, the tying of loose ends, and the modesty for these towering and all-consuming achievements leads me to sound the battle charge for Teresa's deserved acknowledgement as Professional Employee of the Month. Do I 
I have any more? Oh, and Lee Revolt. Lee is here. There he is. Lee is a person that provides excellent service by always making students and staff feel that they have received that little unexpected extra in the shape of extra effort. Sometimes that little unexpected extra can come in different shapes and forms, such as a smile. There it is. A positive remark, a random act of kindness, or the additional effort by a service professional who goes the extra mile. All right, and now I would like to uh, welcome to the stage uh, Marina Guerin Navarro, who is chair of the Faculty Senate Part-Time Faculty Issues Committee, and she is going to be presenting the Part-Time Faculty Recognition Awards. Thank you, Michelle. Uh, good afternoon, everybody. And I would like to take a moment before um, awarding everybody to uh, share a great, great, great success that we had with my committee this year. Not only do we get first ever part-time faculty senator um, to represent part-time faculty, but we got two of them. So um, Jonathan Reddick Lau, Lau um, he was our first um, senator to represent part-time faculty. But starting in the next academic year, we will have two um, part-time faculty senators. So I would like to take this opportunity to encourage the part-time faculty present here, but also um, faculty and administrative staff to encourage the part-timers um, to put their, um, put their name in the hat for the elections that will take place in the fall of 2018. So um, without further ado, let me continue. Tracy Byers is Tracy here. Um, Joseph Domitrovic. Now we have Verla Jackson. The part-time faculty has already been awarded in their, um, in their classrooms, so. Um, next one, Amy Kelly. Suzanne Malik. from my department, <laughs> Diane McMillan. And finally, Rick Reynolds. Thank you very much. And again, um, join, our join our committee. Thank you. I'm going to ask Michelle Montoya to come back to the stage, please. Those of you who have the script with you know that we might have forgotten someone who is unforgettable. Yes. Yes. And I don't know if I see him here. Neil Siegel, is he around? 
Well, you know Neil, I guarantee that. Um, so Neil is one of our librarians, and uh, one of the recommendations said that I want to recognize the public service contributions that Neil makes in transforming lives through education and lifelong learning. And that's just a very brief synopsis about Neil. So um, when you see him, please congratulate him. Thanks. Would Dr. Marie Mergalapur please come to the stage to recognize our faculty who have received recognition for their work with Quality Matters. We have four faculty members who have taken the time to receive QM certification for their online classes. Lisa Bueller for Business 117 and Business 150. Is Lisa here? No. Bill Gallegos for Math 182. Catherine Mickey for Music 121. And John Reed for History 101 and 217. Thank you for all your commitment to your quality of online teaching and student success. And would Cynthia Olivia please, the Vice President of Classified Council, please come to the stage to present the Distinguished Retired Classified Employee Award. Well, following in Michelle's footsteps, I do have another employee that I didn't call it for um, Employee of the Month, and that would be Jean Lampson, if you can come up. Jean was recognized for being the backbone of her department, and um, she was nominated as a Superhero of the Month because of all the work she does and um, is an example and acts at a very high standard for the rest of us. Thank you, Jean. I'm so sorry. <laughs> all right, now for our distinguished retirees. We had um, two distinguished retirees, and one is uh, Quincy. Ooh. Get there. Quincy Fernandez and the other Saloma Helgett Wellard. They are recognized for their service for 10 years at TMCC, and um, it's an honor to recognize uh, two very strong people here. Thank you. So now it's time to recognize our faculty emeritus, and I'd like all, uh, I think two of the three are here today. Uh, please come to the stage when I call your name, and then I'll explain what that word means, or remind us. And then we have a, a, a gift for you. So Teresa Golden, Kenneth Mella, and Ted Plagemeyer. So if you could just come to the stage. I knew that Ken and uh, Teresa were here today. So emeritus is an honor awarded to full-time faculty and professional staff who retire after distinguished and long-term achievement and service to TMCC. This year, we welcome Teresa Golden, Kenneth Mella, and Ted Plagemeyer to these ranks, and Teresa and Ken are with us today. So on behalf of all of the college community, I want to thank you for your service and dedication. We look forward to your future involvement with TMCC. Emeritus means they get to have a library card. That's pretty cool. Yes. And, and there's actually a lot of lovely benefits because the goal is for Teresa and Ken, who are marvelous, to stay connected with TMCC. And we're, we're so happy that, that they are now entering emeritus status. So, we know that your time, please know that your time at TMCC has left a long-lasting impression on our faculty, staff, but most importantly, our students. And so with that, Thank you. 
So next, I'd like to call uh, Ronnie Fox, Director of Human Resources, to the stage to present the Years of Service Award. And I'm also inviting Vice President of Finance, Jim New, VPAA, Dr. Marie Murglopor, and Vice President of Student Services, Estella Gutierrez, to the stage for this portion of the program. Hello. Um, I'm Ronnie Fox. I'm the Director of Human Resources. They let me do this uh, portion of the award ceremony, probably so I can still get to know folks that are here. I'm still fairly new. I've only been here a year and a half. so. It's fun for me to introduce folks that have been here 20 years, 25 years, whatnot. So anyway, without further ado, I'll uh, announce you five years up. And then if you want to come up on stage, you'll get your certificate and ready to go. OK. Oh, also one other thing. There are more people on this list that I'm going to be calling, but some of the folks won't be here, so I won't be calling their names. So, But it's on the list that you have. <clears throat> So I have Amber Burroughs in Student Access Out Outreach and Recruitment, five years. Tara Connolly, Academic Advisor. Michael Dalton, Human Resources. Don Fontana, Maintenance Repair Specialist in the Maintenance Department. Tony Fuchsia, Program Director in Student Life and Development. Um, Megan Gray, Professor in Biology. Precious Hall, Professor in Poli Sci. Andy Hughes, Director in Admissions and Records. Val Kelly, AA4 in the President's Office. Robert Kirchman, Professor in Management. Jean Lamson, AA3 in Academic Affairs. <laughs> Hallie Madol, AA3. <laughs> Olga Messina, specialty, or sorry, specialist in the Disability Resource Center. Stacy Miller, Lead Academic Advisor in Academic Advising. Congratulations. Michelle Montoya, Coordinator in Liberal, Liberal Arts. <laughs> Barb Painter, Executive Assistant in Academic Affairs. Cynthia Perot, Program Director in Workforce Development. <laughs> Lee Rebolt, Assistant Director, a and <laughs> Nancy Rowe, Job Placement Specialist. Amanda Sabiniano, AA3, Webb College. <laughs> Dee Dee Siegel, AA3 in Auxiliary Services. <laughs> Nicole Shimabuku, Coordinator in Student Life and Development. <laughs> Gina True, AA4 in Auxiliary Services. William Walbridge, Network Support Specialist. <laughs> and that's all of our five-year folks. Give them a big round of applause.
All right, we've got a few people that have been here for 10 years. All right, help me out here. Our kites, Aldi Koa Talora. Oh, you did that well. They do? Yeah. <laughs> How'd I? I had to get help with that one. <laughs> Aaron Frock, counselor. Jay Jorgensen, specialist in the DRC. Eric Lopez, facility supervisor one in maintenance. Shannon McCool, professor of mathematics. Dr. Maria Mergalopor, VP of A Academic Affairs. <laughs> Michelle Noel, specialist in Implied Industrial Technologies. Linda Walker, custodial worker too. I saw her today. And Brian Wells, Professor in Graphic Arts. Those are our 10-year folks. Big round of applause. All right, we actually have people that have been here for 15 years, and I decided that's been long enough, we could talk about some fun stuff that happened back in 2003. So the big movie in 2003 was Finding Nemo. It was also the uh, big release of the five hour energy drink. So big round of applause for that. <laughs> uh, Michael Jordan retired that year and it was the one and probably only time the Tampa Bay Buccaneers would, are gonna win that Super Bowl. <laughs> so without further ado, Folks that started here in 2003, I've got Deborah Burengrud, Student Loan Coordinator. Edmund Burke, Professor in Biology. Cheryl Cardoza, Professor in English. And our esteemed Chair of the Faculty Senate. Dr. Dalby, Dean of Technical Sciences. Kenneth Dubois, Specialist, System Support Services. Dr. Julie Ellsworth, Dean of Sciences. Mary Henry, Accounting Assistant 3 in Accounting Services. Mikey Lockrum. Facility Supervisor 2. <laughs> Linda McGillicuddy, Professor in Dental Assisting. <laughs> Maya Ann McMurray, Professor of English. And last but not least, for 15 years, I'll give a big round of applause for Nicole Scollard in Human Resources. That completes our 15 years. Big round of applause for all these folks. <laughs> yes, she was five when she started here. And I want to talk about the gifts that we're doing for the 20 and okay. 25 years. You look the same. For our 20 and 25 year years of service um, recipients this year, we have a special award for them, which is they get the certificate and the pin, but also a little gift that's in the boxes here. We had them um, have a picture made of them or their friends, or if they were shy of the campus, and some kind words that we solicited from coworkers in an especially engraved frame for them. So we, as a special gift for our 20 and 25 year years of service uh, recipients. 
All right, so 20 years. That was back in 1998. If you're cheering because that's when you were born, that's just rude. <laughs> All right, the big movie of that year was Saving Private Ryan. Um, JetBlue, the airline, was founded that year, and Frank Sinatra and Sonny Bono both died that year. But on a more positive note, let's get down to this. So, 20 years, Kayleen Brady, Coordinator Student Services. <laughs> John Fitzsimmons, Library. <laughs> Carol Gribben from the Child Care Center. <laughs> Norberto Padilla, Custodial Worker One. <laughs> Feliciano Rios, Custodial Worker Two. Janine Silver, AA4, Occupational and Safety Training. And we'll give extra time to come on up here for Ben Scheibel, profession, Professor in Management. <laughs> Those are our 20-year awards. Big round of applause. <laughs> We actually have a few folks that have been here for 25 years. 1993, Jurassic Park and Mrs. Doubtfire came out. The popular Christmas gift that year was an Atari. <laughs> and the top musical hit was Whitney Houston's I Will Always Love You. So in that theme of hopefully you'll always love TMCC, you've been here for 25 years, Ruth Fiorini, AA2 in Counseling. Ken Mila, Specialist in the Veterans Upward Bound. And Estella Gutierrez, VP of Student Services. Those are our folks that have been here for 25 years. A big round of applause for everybody who got a service award today. Thank you. So now it's my time to recognize the 2017-18 retirees. Okay. Let's see. So I, I think what I would like to do is I will call, start calling them so that they can join us on the stage. Uh, and I want each retiree to know that they have contributed to TMCC in very unique and wonderful ways. You'll always be a member of TMCC, and we congratulate each retiree on this important milestone, and we wish you happiness and joy in your retirement. So let's start again, three times is a charm. Ken Mella, specialist, Veterans Upward and Bound, 25 years. <laughs> Steven Streeper, professor of business, 27 years. <laughs> Saloma Helgut Wellard, Administrative Assistant, Budget and Planning, 30 years. And Metra Zahed, uh, Zahedni, Technical Assistant, Child Care Center, 14 years. And I will also like to recognize some retirees who are probably not here with us today, but if, if they are, uh, just please come on up. Uh, Henry Sosnowski, English professor, 15 years. Yeah. Nevin Neiswanger, technical science instructor, 13 years. And Tony Strickland, child care worker, 22 years. Okay. 
And these individuals were, uh, we also think were unable to attend, so I'll read them relatively quickly. Denise Pickering, Personnel Technician 3, Human Resources, 19 years. Jeannie Anderson, Administrative Assistant 4, Business Division, 19 years. Patricia Hensley, Administrative Assistant 3, Retention Support, 13 years. Quincy Fernandez, Administrative Assistant 4, Professional Development, 26 years. Oscar Restrepo, Custodial Worker 2, 13 years. And Dan Williams, Professor of Biology, 14 years. So round of applause for all of our retirees. Okay, so thanks so much for being here and congratulations. And again, I am so deeply appreciative of all of the important work that you do for community college students at TMCC. Thank you.